So what is the right price for your ebooks and paperbacks? You don't know? Probably don't know. So this video is for you. Let's get started. Howdy ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. This is going to be an awesome video. I'm going to explain what is the right price for your ebooks and paperbacks throughout this video. And if you don't know, my name is Jaron Alexo. And if you still haven't liked this video and subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can go right below and do that. So you can get weekly this type of videos where I share with you a lot of tips related to self-publishing and several ways for you to make money online. And if you are still struggling with your publishing business, still haven't reached your first $1,000 per month, or you just would like to build a profitable book business and you don't know where to start, then check out my newest course called Self-Publishing Money Machine. I'm going to leave a link on the description from this video. You just need to click on it so you can get all of the information that you need. And today I'm going to use a whiteboard just to make things a bit different compared to other videos, uh, just to put my skills at practice because I could do this another way, but I just want to use this whiteboard today, make things a bit more interesting, to spice things up, you could say. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with uh, a book with 30,000 words, which is normally what I suggest, and it's normally the, the length that works for most uh, non-fiction ni niches. Of course, you can get books with uh, less less words, with a less word count, and 30,000 words is about 120 pages. It can be a, a bit more, up to 150 pages, depending how you format your book, if you include a few images, and do all of those nice things that I typically recommend for you to do. And uh, let's put over here 30,000, and uh, okay, 30,000 words over here. And let's see the price that you should set your ebook initially, at least. Okay, so this is 30,000 words. And ebook, let's put over here ebook. Okay, ebook. And two dots. Usually I just set the standard price at 299 for my ebook. So with this length, okay, so 299 and typically the way that I do things is when I first launch my book, I set it at uh, 099 to get some, to get more easily reviews on my book because that is extremely important and I explained throughout my, my course that I've mentioned, so publishing Money Machine, how you can do that, but I set it at 099 for a few weeks and once I have a couple of reviews, I increase the price to 299. Okay, 299 is the typical price for my books, for my ebooks, I mean. Now for the paper version, I set it at, uh, let's see over here. Okay, this is kind of hard to write. Uh, 16, beyond $16. Okay, beyond $60. So it's more than $16 or over. Any price beyond $16, which is what I usually suggest, I said beyond $16, okay? That seems to be a good price for a paperback initially. Of course, there are a few strategies that you can try. Uh, you can try when you first launch a book to set it a bit cheaper than $16, just so you can get more sales on your paperback and I already mentioned this in other videos, but the more your book sells, the better it tends to perform on Amazon because, I mean, Amazon likes to make money and uh, when they see that the book is selling well, they tend to increase the visibility of your book or in other words, they provide a better rank for your book so more customers can easily find your book throughout their platform and purchase your book. So you can set a bit cheaper initially for a few weeks and then you can increase to 16, beyond $16, which is what I suggest. So this is for 30,000 uh, 30, words, okay? So if you have half the length, let's say 15,000 words, okay? Let's see how much you would uh, do over here. So ebook, I, I start with the same price, okay? So for ebook is the same price because you can't go lower 
because for you to go go lower you need to set another royalties which is the 30 percent royalties and uh you you don't make much money that way okay so you can't go lower so you need to set the standard price of 299 now for a paperback over here i usually go beyond 13 dollars okay 13 dollars for this oops 13 dollars okay so this is the price I usually set for, but I haven't done books with this length for quite a long time. So, um, but this is normally the, the price I usually, usually used to set it was beyond $13. Now the strategy, the other strategy, this, this is kind of, oops, this is kind of initially how you should do things. Okay. Now, once you have a good amount of reviews, okay, once you have reviews, Okay, things kind of change because reviews is kind of, I would say, social proof on your book. It means that other customers enjoyed reading your book and spent some of their time to going to Amazon and leaving feedback on your book. And that's extremely important. Reviews is extremely important on your, on your book. It really helps your book sell a lot better. And once you have a good amount of reviews, then you kind of can escape by increasing the price of your book because you already have a lot of reviews and it justifies you having a more expensive book okay so that means that you can once you have a good amount of reviews you can have over here on your ebook okay i'm not going to write this again but this is ebook the c over here you can increase it one dollar and it still will sell well because you already have a nice amount of reviews and sometimes it kind of depends on the on the reviews you can try 399 for this or you can even try later on if you have even more reviews 499 and see if it still sells well you kind of need to find the uh, a good selling point where you're not you're you you're still selling well and you're not noticing a huge impact on the sales and you can do this once you have a good amount of reviews because if you don't have a good amount of reviews i don't recommend for you to set it at 399 because uh, most likely your book will struggle to sell okay and your paperback once again your paperback you can increase sometimes up to 19 dollars and it still sells well okay and this is something that you really need to try i don't recommend for you to go from 16 immediately to $19 okay you shouldn't do that you should just try $1 at a time so once you have a nice amount of reviews this can be 50 reviews or beyond then you can set just $1 on the $16 over here and see if it still is selling well and the idea is going up to $19 I don't recommend for you to the, I don't recommend for you to pass $19 or it may be you will probably notice a huge uh, decrease on the sales so initially the idea on your first month is to get as much sales as possible once and also reviews on your book and once you have a good amount of reviews that justifies you to increase the price of your book once again you want to do this slowly you don't want to go from 16 immediately to $90 because that's quite a drastic increase and it may affect the sales that you get on your paperback. But what you want to do is just increase $1, see if, if your paperback is still selling well. You also do the same thing with your ebook and see if, uh, if your ebook and paperback are selling well. If though, you can then increase your paperback even one more dollar and so and so on up to $19 and something. All things I explained throughout my course okay so this is the price you should set and you should also do the same thing with your ebook usually the ebook I don't increase the um, when it comes to 15,000 words I usually don't increase over here the price to 399 okay because it's it's kind of a short book this is a book with about 80 pages 90 pages and it's kind of short and increasing the price too much may uh, people probably won't like okay but over here you can go and you can increase the price up to $16 okay once again using the same strategy which I've explained already 
Okay, so this is the the price strategy I usually follow for my books, okay? And that is all for this video. If you have any questions related to self-publishing, just uh, leave it on the comment section right below. I'll try to help you out. And also leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you still haven't checked it, check my newest course called Self-Publishing Money Machine. Just click on the link right below in the description from this video to get more information. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Jordan Lexo and bye.